All right. Do you think we can wrap up Europe? We can rip minutes? through. Yes. Um, Let's just stick to the ones that actually might come to Minnesota. We can skip over the the first stops and the goose gov. What? <laughs> yeah, we won't we won't okay. touch on goose okay. First off, and Yurov did play against each other the other night. So okay, we can we can kind of lump them into one then. Um, all right, let's start with who's the Dinov. One game this week, three one win against Akbar's. Twenty three shifts, seventeen and a half minutes plus one with only one shot on net. Seven for seventeen at the faceoff dot with a takeaway. He's in quite the scoring slump. So she has been horrible lately. Like I think this is their first win in like a couple of weeks. Like they've been getting the shit kicked out of them. They never have the puck. Um and he hasn't been quite as impressive as when he first got there. So this is the first time I've been like, oh, this looks like old ska who's at Dinov. He'll get himself out of it. He'll be fine. He's a very good prospect. But like the past few weeks it's just been rough go for him. Um and so she in general um but yeah just wasn't not at his best right now uh so 39 games 16 and a half minutes time on ice five goals seven assists with 12 points he's dash 11 six pims the big thing for me and it reflects just like it is production he's only taken 46 shots on goal this year which like the big part of him taking such a big jump last year like with that like a with more getting more ice time, he just found himself on the puck, was willing to actually fucking shoot and like get involved in the offense that way. Right now, he's definitely just looking to facilitate. Like the whole team, again, is looking brutal in terms of confidence and just like any kind of playmaking offensively. But the 46 shots on net for me, if you're only averaging just over one a game and you're like first or second line center, you really want to see like double that. So um that's the one thing that's really jumped out at me like he's not even looking like he's gonna score doesn't look like he wants to shoot ever so that's one thing that's stuck out um just under 50 percent of the face off dot this year he's blocked 36 shots uh 38 hits and 13 takeaways. god i will never forget that that was insane and that's who's a so there you go i went through that one pretty quick uh Daniil Yurov, the heater continues. Two games this week. 6-2 win against Spartak on Sunday. Three points, two goals with an assist. He's a plus three, so all three points came at even strength. At the beginning of the year, a lot of those points were coming on the power play by way of them being on the power play a lot. Um, seven shots on net, so there you go. <laughs> Big difference there. He is looking to get it and fucking rip it. Um, he played second line center that game, went 11 for 16 at the faceoff dot. He is just feeling it. And again, last year, year before, like in his draft year, like we were very worried about how the long-term like effect on his development that just getting benched in the KHL every fucking game would have. Coaching change, one year older, signs that contract in the offseason. Like now he's getting looks. They're actually using him at center, at wing, top Crazy. six, and it's working. So very positive, obviously. He just looks phenomenal. Uh, what's today? What it's Wednesday? So that when you're listening to this, uh, <laughs> two days ago, um, <laughs> seven four loss torpedo and Vlad first of. Um, that was a rough one. Seven four loss. Um, no one on Metal Arc was very good at all. Some of the goals against were legitimately comical. Um, like, like comical, comical. It was like, oh, that's not, that guy's never played goalie before. They must have had the fucking like e bug in. But either way, uh, so two games this week, the three points. Um, played a lot of center, so that's always good. 50 games, 16 goals, 29 points, plus six, 100 shots on net. Um, so that's always good to see there. Actually, no, that's the wrong stat line. He's got like 40 something points. Actually, I know that for a fact. Either way, two way player producing almost at a point per game. He looks phenomenal. Great to see. Vlad first off, whatever assists in their 7 4 win against Euros Metal Um, we'll see he if he ever plays favorite in the prospect rankings every year. Unbelievable. When he came out, it's like first, first off. That's my guy. That's the best prospect of this pool. Good, good joke, um, dude. <laughs> nailed it, Isha. One game the AHL immediately goes to the KHL. Nailed it. Thanks a lot, Isha. That's because of you. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, 
the ceiling's there, dude. Like he's a fucking good player. So I'm very curious to see if he ever comes back. Trade is right. Trade is right. Will. Yeah, there you go. Pick up pick. Um, fuck, dude. He's playing really well. He puts up crazy points in the KHL for such a young player. Um, so he's intriguing. That's why he was a second round pick, but um, it's like 30 points in 48 games, I think. Um, so that's first off, but we don't have to talk about Kuzkov because I think I got scratched in all three games this week. Last one, we're going over to Sweden. Liam Ogren. He is so fucking back. So fucking back. I don't know. He pouted a little bit about Team USA beating him. That's all right. He can do whatever he wants. I don't care. You know what? I'm on his side. Fuck. fuck you know, fuck those guys. Fuck those guys. Team Sweden. I, I did pick right him. Um, <laughs> he graduated. So he came back from injury couple weeks before the world juniors was pretty much playing eight, nine minutes a night on that fourth line. I think he scored in his third game back immediately elevated to the second line. Now he's on their first line playing right now. 15 minutes, one game this week scored two goals um, on with five shots on net nine shot attempts. We love that plus two with a hit. So now in seven games, he's going for the Cy Young seven games in the SHL this year. He's got four goals, four points four pims, 16 shots on net with a hit. And he is a plus two. But just good to see him back on the ice. And literally every time he has the puck, he's looking to fucking rip it. Love that for him. He looks great in the SHL this year, his first year in the SHL. So that's great. Again, I think we've said this before. Would will be interesting to see what he does, whether he signs for another year in the SHL. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, to be honest with you. Like Maybe he can go the whole year without getting injured, play top six minutes in one of the best leagues in the world. At this point, with all the contracts that have been signed in Minnesota, like there's not a whole lot of spots available in that top six anyways. Do you really want to go play in Iowa? I don't know. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what happens, you know, next year. But he looks so good in the SHL, which is awesome to see. And Firestat's one of the best teams in the SHL. Um, so overall, now that he's healthy again, he looks great. And it's always good to see him get in the score sheet, especially with two goals this week. So there you go. That's the full roundup. We did it in just under two hours. Nailed it. Did it. Did the thing. That that used to be me by myself for two hours. No guardrails. No one to be like, hey, man. I back. mean, in come fairness, back. the only guardrails I put up throughout that entire prospect perspective was Europe being like, hey, think you can do it in 12 minutes? You're like, oh, yeah, is that a fucking challenge? That's the only reason you did it. <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen you playing with your nose a lot. Why? <laughs> just did a line with a guy in the bathroom. I bet you could barely spot him. I just did a line with a dude in the men's room, and I bet you can't even spot him. Guys, do the jump rope, punches someone in the face, jumps up there and goes. Shout out Ted too. Great movie. 